find out this is how rude it is. This year, for the Slamboree Battle Royale, the winner gets a WWT Championship title shot. I will be with somebody, the future tag team champion of WWT. The clock is about to strike midnight. The deal has been made, the pathway to redemption. Ever clear. I'm cranking up on the throttle, victory is mine. Show you the harder the battle, harder I fight. I've come too far to quit. Step back and blind me. I'm cranking up on the throttle. <laughs> this is how I just am. Ultimate episode of WWT. This is Smash Mouth Slamboree 3 Halloween Edition. I am Dodger Oven Crust alongside Don Donaldson. And Don, I have got goosebumps. Maybe because it's Halloween, I don't know. But are you ready for tonight? It is a beautiful evening tonight, and it's finally here. Smash Mouth Slamboree 3, three years in the making of WWT action. This is going to be fantastic. This is going to be a spooktacular Slamboree. by this buffoon. I'm talking about Mike James. Well, that's, you know what? I think everybody, you know, regardless of how you feel about Mike James, is ecstatic to have him back. This is the first time we've seen him in a WWT ring since his horrific injury. And, you know, my God, I couldn't be happier to see him in his crazy goose duck, uh, some sort of hybrid costume. What a feel-good moment. Embarrassing? Yeah, easy for you to say. But anyway, welcome everybody to Smash Mouth Slamboree 3 on Halloween. Oh man, you know tonight G, tonight's an epic night. I'm back, no, not in action, but coming soon I will be. Just not clear by the doctors yet. But man, Tonight's so full of tricks and treats. We got it. This annual Smash Mouth Battle Royale. And that features the winner gets a title shot for any belt he chooses. We also have my best friend Dick. Hope he seriously captures those tag team belts with a partner of his choosing, which I don't know who that is. It's a surprise. Like he always says to me. Dick doesn't, Dick's full of surprises. Yeah, I know, do I know? And we have a ladder match for the Continental Championship. And we have a huge, mega, serious main event. And that is going to be so serious that it's going to be serious. So, anyway, people, welcome and have a great time watching. I hope you enjoy the show. Woo! Now let's go get our candy. Oh man, I hope you guys have a whole bowl full. Are we a pair? 
dust on the ground, you in midair. Send in the clown. Well, it wouldn't be Halloween without some creepy clowns, right, Dodge? Yeah, under normal circumstances, I'd say uh, I'm not looking forward to this, but it is Halloween, Don, and there ain't no more appropriate way to start this thing than with these spooky, scary, psychotic, twisted disciples of chaos. Spooky, scary skeletons. Good Lord, if they aren't normally scary enough, what the hell's this? No shake and shudder in surprise when you hear these decided to go all out for all Hallow's Eve. We turn the lights back on, I'm getting kind of freaked out, Don. Yeah, no kidding, are these powered by creepiness or what? When it comes to these guys, you want to know where they are at all times. This isn't very unsettling. Well, that's even more unsettling. Good God. How did they do that? Well, there's no wonder how they did what they did in getting into this match. But they may have the deck stacked against them because here comes the man with the plan, the man who faced a career-threatening ankle sprain at the hands of these clowns, Dick Williams in a brand new look. The onslaught looking oh so confident, and this is a very interesting predicament for Dick Williams, Don. For the first time in his career, he was on the other end of the anarchy that he usually likes to instigate. And you and he both said he's got a plan, but the question is, is there even a plan out there that could possibly be orchestrated well enough to combat Diggles and Twinkles? Well, well, well. It isn't the two freaks that busted my ankle. Tried to ruin my destiny. Well, this is the perfect setting and the perfect time to unleash my master plan because I found the only tag team partner that's a bigger freak and a more psychotic than you two put together. Who's he talking about? Well, who could this be? The more. Oh my God! What? It's, it can't be. Well, now wait a minute here. This is. This can't be right. Did he really? Did he really pull in? In who I think it is? A mystery partner for the tag team titles. It is Xander Deville. He's got a match later on tonight. Uh, how, yeah, how the hell did Dick Williams pull this off? Xander Deville is going to be in the, the Horror Heights ladder match here in just a little bit. And there is no love lost between Dick Williams and Xander Deville, but somehow he talked them in to becoming his tag team partner tonight. And look, those clowns look a little uneasy. Dick Williams may have just pulled the ace out of the deck. What a play by the onslaught. The ultimate trump card being played by Dick Williams, the inaugural Continental title champ er, champion, might just become the inaugural WWT tag team champion with this move. And Don, do you realize what this means? If DeVille wins this match with Dick Williams, by the end of the night, he could be a co-champion. And here's the ref. It looks like this is official. Xander Deville you, and Dick Williams, the onslaught versus the disciples. Oh wait, what the, the what the hell? Dick Williams just puts him out of his sleeve. It's a nightstick. He's beating the hell out of Giggles and Twinkles with a nightstick, and the referee didn't see it. He's calling for the bell. He wants this right now. There's the bell. Dick Williams may have just pulled this thing out of the bag. There's the dick drop. This thing is over. He might have a new champion. Xander Deville might not be a match too. Oh, not this time. No, oh, he might not kick out of that as a second dick drop. Dick Williams is gonna One, do this thing. Two, a master plan almost coming to fruition. You can see the frustration there. He's already beat him to hell with the dick stick. Oh my God, a third devastating dick drop. Nobody's kicking out of a third dick drop. It's over. Oh no, Twinkles. 
Twinkle saves Giggles. My God, could you imagine if Dick Williams would have pulled that out? Dick Williams, his master plan laid out. He's got the ace up his sleeve. With Xander DeVille in the corner, he had a nightstick up his other sleeve. And now he's pounding away on the Disciples of Chaos. He may not even need Xander DeVille. Giggles is hurt. That ankle seems to be okay right now as he's clobbering, clobbering. Blows down on the head, although... Oh no, oh, speaking of heads, Giggles with a headbutt drops Dick Williams and that may, that may be all it's needed to turn the tides of this thing because Giggles, Giggles is on the attack. Look at this, headbutt after headbutt after headbutt right on top of the onslaught. I mean, as we've seen in the past, the head may not be the area that's always biting him. Biting Dick Williams right in the face. Well, that ain't, that ain't Halloween candy. That's Dick Williams' nose. Oh, look, now Giggles has the night sticky. Oh, look at that. Oh, my God. That's psychotic. That night stick may have done nothing but piss Giggles off, and look at this stare down. Giggles and Xander to Bill face to face. Oh, speaking of pissed off, I think he's trying to get Xander in the ring. I don't know if that's a wise move. God, Don, I want to see that. I want to see that confrontation. Oh, Dick William trying to scamper away to no avail. Oh no, this is this is what sprained Dick Williams' ankle in the first place. The clown's looking to repeat history. Dick Williams' ankle may have just popped out of socket. That was career-threatening before. That may be a life-threatening injury right there on that ankle. And Dick Williams started this thing hot, but right now it ain't looking too good for the onslaught. As a reminder, one of these two teams will become the inaugural WWT Tag Team Champions. Giggles and Twinkles have been on a tear. There was some legal action from Ron Gavel, the attorney for Dick Williams that got him into this match. Right, Dodge? Yeah, and uh, honestly... I don't know if this is a reward or not. I mean, I get it. You're, you're fighting to become the first ever tag team champions, but when you win a lawsuit, the one thing I would not want out of it is a tag team title match with these two freaks. No, Dick Williams paying for it right now with his ankles. Twinkles is looking to snap Dick Williams' ankles. Dick is, he's trying to reach out for the tag, but Twinkles pulls him back. Even if he wins, he may not walk out the champion. Oh, nice below the belt shot. Not sure how the ref didn't see that one. Dick Williams' desperation move, trying to get to the corner. And tagging Xander the Bill. Here we go. Oh, here we go, Don. Here we go. And look at that. Giggles makes the tag. It's Giggles and DeVille. This is going down. It's about to get evil in here right now. This could be the ultimate play from Dick Williams. It's ours. Those are ours. Happy Halloween. This is like killer clowns from outer space versus Jeepers Creepers. And Onslaught taunting the clowns with his weapon. Xander DeVille about to go down with the clowns. What is Giggle saying? And Xander standing there measuring up his opponent, ready to strike. Oh no! Oh, what the hell? He just leveled his own partner. Dick Williams strung yeah. out on the ropes after a super kick. The yeah. Bill just sinister kicked the hell out of Dick Williams. <laughs> Lights out and Xander DeVille just staring him down. What the hell is this? Oh, there was the tag. DeVille just tagged back Dick in. What is going on, Don? Xander DeVille bailing. He didn't even hit the clowns oh. once. What the hell is happening? No, the only thing he hit was Dick Williams right on the bridge of the nose. And the onslaught looks to be completely limp in the middle of the ring. And Williams struggling to get to his feet. Now partnerless. Dick Williams' plan just blew up right in his face. There's the battering ram. Things not looking good for the onslaught. Straddled and down two and three. We have inaugural tag team champions. It's those evil bastard clowns, the disciples of chaos. After what you can only describe as chaos. Oh my God, Don. Spooky, scary skeletons and shivers down your spine. Shrieking 
skulls will shock your soul. Seal your doom tonight. Well, the song says it. Seal your doom tonight. And Xander DeVille sealed the doom, sealed the fate of Dick Williams. And thanks to DeVille, the era of chaos ensues. Giggles and Twinkles are your first ever wrestle with this tag team champions. God help us all. We could be seeing those straps on them for quite some time. I don't know who can take it off of them, Dodge. Nightmare Fuel at Slamboree 3. Good luck to all who enter the tag team division with these two on top of the mountain. I think this is the tag team division's worst nightmare. Bags of bones seem so unsafe It's semi-serious Greetings, Wrestle with Hasty Viewers Or listeners, whatever you may be doing, who knows This is Thurnhausen here, very nice Very evil Very famous Yes, yeah, that's right, Thurnhausen is back To, uh, we wish you a very nice, very evil, very scary Halloween very happy Halloween, I suppose. So, you should do that, or you shall be cast. Anyways, enjoy the show. Well, Dodge, it wouldn't be Halloween without a Halloween Horror Rules match, and that's coming up next. Yeah, yeah and uh, poor Matt Brannigan has to compete in it. Now, is that Matt Brannigan or is that the clone? I think that's Matt. I, I don't think that's the clone. I hate Halloween. I hate it. Yeah, I think the cry on the bottom would have said clone. Hey, oh, he just super kicked the, the decorations. He needs to save some of that spirit. Don't follow. Look at this. You think that's scary? That's the cheapest decoration I've ever seen. What is that? What a piece of trash. What a piece of trash. Well, Matt, I don't real, think that's a decoration. Oh, that was probably a mistake. Unless we hired a new janitor, I don't... Or that's the most lifelike decoration of all time. No, that's... God, that's Kronos the Berserker, and he's got his hands on Brannigan. Tonight's match, Halloween Horrors Rules, no DQ, Matt Brannigan versus Kronos the Berserker. Oh my god, and Kronos with that chain just about drove it through the heart of Matt Brannigan. Who did Matt Brannigan piss off to get put in this match? Oh. I mean, his clone's the one that called me and told me this was a good idea, so I imagine the clone. You know, if there's another reason to not have a clone, it's that. Oh, geez, those chops are doing nothing. Yeah, Matt, I think you need to come up with a different plan. Yeah. Oh, and that ain't it. Yeah. Maybe one of those? Yeah. That's not gonna yeah. work. Yeah. Does he even have nipples? Yeah. Hey. I'm, I'm sorry. I gotta... Now, Matt, this ain't no OnlyFans video. Oh. This is a horror what? film, and you're in there with Kronos oh, the Berserker. Please, please. Kronos oh, right. the Berserker in firm control here. Oh. oh, right back at him. Kronos has a death grip on Matt's nipples. Oh, my God. The Berserker oh, oh, treating oh, Brannigan like Jason oh Voorhees treats Listen. counselors at Camp Listen. Crystal Lake. I'm sorry I called you a dog. I'm definitely checking him yeah. out on, on uh, OnlyFans, oh, or Fans oh, Only. What's the name of that website? No! This is not the kind of physical activity Matt Brannigan is used to getting paid for, I'll tell you that. No, Halloween Horrors means you might lose some of your anatomy during the match. Yikes. This is Kronos' first match he's ever had in Wrestle With This, and my god, it could it be a more fitting stipulation on a more fitting night as Brannigan gets put in that... Oh my god, Brannigan just... He's hitting Kronos in the head with a crowbar! I was so distracted by the nipple move that I lost the fact that he had a crowbar in his hand trying to jar himself loose from Kronos. But look at this, Kronos is just eating a crowbar to the skull and he's That's still on his feet! Now, dummy. This is the finish! Like this happens to him all the time. Oh, Brannigan got caught with a black hole slam, and he may have just got sent into the twilight zone off that maneuver. Chronos asking for more. 
Bring a friend. I'll do it to him, too. He did bring a friend. There's the clone. Speaking of devil, the clone's here. Oh, God. He's going to get some. Oh, my God. The double choke slam with ease. Matt Brannigan and his clone just got dropped at Halloween Horror. Happy Halloween, ladies. Well, how about that? Oh, the ref might get some, too. Get the hell out of there. I don't think Kronos is done yet. Wanted to make the most of his WWT debut, and this is probably his favorite type of match. And Halloween Horror Rules 2 officially in the books here at Smash Metal Slambury 3. You might need an army of clones to take down Kronos the Berserker. Can you get a nipple replacement from a clone? Is there any chance they can have that type of surgery? Well, Matt might want to look into it because he might need it. Yeah. Who? Who? Mega yeah. Mondo! Serious dude! How you doing, buddy? Mega Mondo! Is Mega doing great? But what's in the Mega Box? Well, you remember that gift I was telling you about? Yeah! Well... Since me and G been out in the comeback, you've been giving us some positive reinforcements on getting our, on getting them coming back. We decided to get you something special. Mega bananas. No. What's in here? Because every king needs his crown. Mega like that. Get it for your match. Yeah. We can wear for your match tonight. With mega Stone Mondo King. is gonna mega wear this tonight. When the king's reign mega continues. Tudor mega. Oh! Mega, thank you, Mike James. Seriously welcome. <laughs> well, as Mega Mondo prepares for his WWT title match later on tonight, Don, you and me and everybody else watching around the world are prepping because coming up next is the first ever ladder match in Wrestle With This History, the Horror Heights ladder match for the Continental Championship. This is no trick, but you're about to be treated to something that is many, many months in the making. Four competitors battling it out for Ravishing Anton's Continental title, all of which have taken winding paths that have intertwined to this moment. All paths intertwined with one singularity at the heart of the situation, that being the coveted Continental Championship. Each competitor will be trying to climb that ladder in order to reach the Continental title in hopes of becoming either retaining a title on Unravising Anton's part or becoming the Continental Championship for the first time if you're Isvan Gustafsson, Sam Thompson, or the evil Xander DeVille. All I know, Don, is this one is gonna be a show stealer. The bodies are about to hit the floor. Let's get it on.
former right WWE Continental, Continental Champion, match. held it for, and I think, over 500 days, oh my if my God. math is correct. Ladders are everywhere. That's a shame that I can't do it being part of this exciting match. But you never know. Very fitting that he's here Let's tonight to hold that belt high and hoist it above the ring for these other superstars to have to climb and try to retrieve it. Right there's the ladder. What are we calling that? The, the ladder of doom or something like that? Horror Heights ladder match, Don. Horror Heights. I've got to read my notes. <laughs> and that deep raise and strike the guitar sound mean only one thing. The, the Continental is Champion the is here. Ravishing Anton in the house for the first ever ladder match in WWE history. Do you think he's got what it takes to retain this title against three other worthy competitors, Dodge? I think Anton has more than what it takes. I mean, you're looking at the first ever two-time Continental Champion. Ravishing Anton always knows how to pull it out of the bag when the going gets tough. Anton's had that title now for over 150 days. Will his reign continue? The odds are stacked against Anton, though I will admit. I mean, not only does he have to defend the title against three other competitors, but here's a fun fact, Don. Well, not fun for Anton. Ravishing Anton has never won a match at a Smash Mouth Slamboree. Oh for two, looking to get off the schneid and retain that silver. And here is a competitor who's been on a tear recently, recently getting the love of his life back. It's Sam Thompson with Valerie Vermin. And Sam, uh, a newfound vigor in those eyes, I think, with Valerie back in his corner. He's going to be more focused than ever on trying to win his first championship here in the WWT. Showing respect there for the host, Mike James. And I think you're right, there's a new spring in his step after he got the love of his life back. Valerie Vermin looks a little happier than we've seen her in the past. Of course, last time we saw her, she was tied to a chair thanks to Sander Deville. Oh, I've never seen her before. Your girlfriend's back now. I'm, I'm all red in the face. It's the Schnitzel Slinger himself, the red and yellow attack. Von Gusten Schlamann is here! The Schnitzel Slinging Superhero, the eight time Schnitzel Slamming Champion! Little Red is Von Hood, or, or Wiener Hood, or whatever we want to call him, he's here. I don't know what that costume was, probably some native German thing. Nonchalant look of him, fool ya. That man's got a mean streak. And speaking of mean streak, as you said earlier, Xander Deville seems to have crossed paths with everybody in WWT recently, especially the three men in the ring. For the second time tonight, Xander Deville will make his evil presence felt. This time, though, will he conquer all that stand in his way? Will he walk out with a championship tonight? What's interesting about this is he faced Ravishing Anton in the past and eliminated himself from, oh, geez, eliminated himself from, from continental title contention. Then he had a chance to win the tag title tonight and didn't bother even trying to win those. He super kicked his own partner. What's he going to do in this one? Don. There's a lot of mystery surrounding this demon, Xander DeVille, as he eyeballs the four men that stand in the ring, one of them being the man that he helped shatter the neck of in Mike James. 
Man, look at that. Look at that. Tanner DeVille wearing the war paint as he looks eye to eye with the former Continental Champion. Mike James better be careful here. Last time these two crossed paths, it didn't end well. Xander DeVille off. normally has the upper hand in every meeting because he's kind of called the shots up, and surprised people. Now he's got to face these three head on and none of them really care for him dumbass. all that much. Xander DeVille as demonic as a Dementor and tonight he has the opportunity to suck the souls of three men that he has targeted over the past few months and if he sees fit to collect that ultimate collector's item, the thing that Mike James is hanging high above the ring, the Continental Championship. Yeah, I mean, he really has shown no rhyme or reason for doing the things he does. We have no idea what his motivation is. We have no idea what's going through that mind, that horned head of his. And now he's got to face Sam Thompson, who he, he's... You know, hurt the I love of his life. I you get that. Isfahan, he's who he's fine. suckered, punched, and, and sucker attacked a few times. And Ravishing Anton, who he's gone toe-to-toe -to -toe with over the Continental title. The only thing I can think of, Don, and this is, this is just me winging it here. This is a total you theory. This is my fan fiction, if you will. Xander DeVille seems to be obsessed with collecting things that belong to people, taking what matters most to everybody. And both times he's been in title matches, the title has either been vacated or not given to a person yet. Will, that, will his mindset change tonight because the Continental title is being held by Ravishing Anton as Sam Thompson and Isfahan waste little time. They're on the attack right on DeVille. And it looks like it could be a cross on his back, but it's actually more of a target because right now, Isvon and Sam Thompson have made it their mission to take him out of the match first. See, and this is where DeVille, his tactics over the last few months, may come back to bite him in the behind because both of these guys, including Anton, they want nothing but to punish Xander DeVille for everything he has done to them and their loved ones. And speaking of Anton, the wise old champion standing back and letting the other two do his bidding. Oh my god, and there's the power of DeVille on full display. And as a reminder for folks, the way you win this ladder match is you have to climb that ladder and retrieve the belt to be crowned the Continental title holder champion. Well, now Anton saying bring it to DeVille, and I don't think he's got to worry about DeVille doing that. It's Sam Thompson not going to let it happen. And now all three of these guys like jackals on a carcass just ripping and tearing away at DeVille. This feels personal. This feels like more than a low, and there goes DeVille. This feels like more than them just wanting to win the title. They want to get some revenge on Xander DeVille. Well, I can't really blame him. I mean, DeVille has got to be the biggest threat in this thing. Get him out of the picture early, and then you can worry about dealing with each other as Isfahan, Isfahan goes right for a ladder and followed by Thompson and Anton, all three men going for some steel. These matches are so difficult because not only is it unorthodox in that you've got to climb a, a rickety ladder to get a title belt, but you've got to constantly have your head on a swivel because there's three other people trying to do the same thing. Well, yeah, and that's happening right now. Look, Isfahan and Thompson are outside the ring fighting, and Anton has set a ladder up in the middle of the ring. Anton might be on the verge of winning this thing. Oh, no way, Isfahan. Isfahan stops it. Isfahan smart enough to realize that the main goal is to keep others from getting that title and rolls in and stops Anton from retrieving his belt. Will tonight be Isfahan's night? Isfahan has never held WWT gold either. He's come oh so close multiple times. Tonight, well, it might not be his night because Sam Thompson just put his foot right in Isvan's face. That's right. Isvan has tasted a human hand, but he's never tasted a WWT championship. We'll see if that changes tonight. No, and you pointed it out earlier, Don. The only one of these guys to hold WWT gold or silver is Anton, and he's done it twice. And now Sam Thompson on the receiving end of, of two of a double team. Xander DeVille looks on. What the hell? Oh my God, what is DeVille doing? Good Lord Almighty! Oh my God, Sam, oh my God. He's big, he's strong, and he can fly. What else can this man do? 
from heaven to hell, Xander Deville just flew like Lucifer through the skies and wiped out every other man in this match. And again, what's his motivation? All three men down. The belt right there. And he would rather punish them than go for the title. This man is scary, Don. Not only just... I mean, physically, but his agility is scary. I have never, could you, I mean, Xander DeVille is a big man, and he just leaped over the top rope and took out every other man. And this is even scarier, Xander DeVille with a kendo stick. Sam Thompson looking to be in some more pain here. Choking the life out of him between a kendo stick and the ring post. This is all legal in a horror heights ladder match. Look, oh my God, could you imagine if that would have connected with Sam Thompson's stall? That kendo stick just shattered. Across the country, the World Series taking on, uh, taking off right now. Sign up Xander Deville because he was swinging for the fences. Oh, oh guys, look at he's going to Valerie. Get out of there. And look at this, there's nobody left. Xander DeVille could walk up that ladder and win this thing. Just a walk in the park for Xander DeVille right now, but he's, it doesn't seem like he's got any speed to it. Well, what's he doing? The belt's right there. Oh, and there you go again. What I don't understand what DeVille's motive is. He, he just, I just think he wants to hurt people, Don. I, I don't think it's about titles to this guy. He just wants to inflict as much pain as humanly possible. It's like he just uses the title to lure people in for him to hurt. Welcome to Xander's Web. Now Isfan, Isfan getting up. What's he got? He's got a jack-o'-lantern in his hand. Oh, well, look, oh, look at that. Isfan was trying to sucker DeVille in, and now, oh my god, jack-o'-lantern over the skull. Happy Halloween, DeVille. Just punkin' chunkin' that right into the cranium of Xander DeVille, and now we've got a fight over the ladder. Now we got a, a tug of war with a ladder, and Isfan drives Thompson, the prima donna prince, right back into the corner. And now Isfahn folding up that steel. We know he can sling a schnitzel. Let's see how well he can sling a ladder. Oh, geez. Valerie Vermin. Vermin looks so unconcerned as she should be as her man just getting pummeled with a ladder. Now that ladder's probably about six foot. Not sure what that is in the metric system. I'm sure, uh, I'm sure coming from Germany, you know, Isfahn would be able to answer that. And now what's he doing? Just kind of taking his time, enjoying his time under the belt. No, I think Isfan, Isfan realizes it's still a little too early in this match. And yeah, see Anton getting up. Oh man, Anton just threw that pumpkin right back in Isfan's face. And these two had a five-star performance a few showcases ago for that Continental title. And oh wait, Anton has set a door up on the outside of the ring. He's gonna look oh, to no. suplex Isfan right through the door. And no, Isfan. Oh, Isfahn counters oh. it. And what the hell was that? It looked like a one of those steel do not enter signs that was one of the decorations around the ring for tonight. Now Isfahn is wailing away on the Continental Champion. And now Sam Thompson back in the ring trying to figure out the ladder. Here we go. Sam gonna make that long climb. Oh wait, here comes, here comes Isfahn. And he's still got that metal sign. Good Lord, right across the, oh wait, oh, oh no, oh man. Oh, and a double shot there. Shot with the sign and then the ladder falls on his head. And that is the danger of one of these ladder matches. They're so unpredictable, Don. No, there's things flying at you and hitting you from all sides. Oh, Isfahn misses oh. with the ladder. And, oh, oh my God, Sam Thompson just springboarded that ladder right back into Isfahn's face. He may have just broken every tooth in his head. I think it's all a couple teeth shoot out of his mouth there. Oh, there's Xander. He'll probably eat the teeth. The Isfahn may have broke his nose after that shot. That was nasty. And Sam Thompson grabs another ladder. 
Maybe to have a little bit better luck with the green one. I don't know what's he going to do with that jack o' lantern. Sam Thompson has got to get that ladder set up. He's got a he's got a clear path right now to the top of the ladder. Oh wait, there's Deville. That's the guy you exactly don't want to see walking towards you. Deville is stalking Valerie Berman on the outside of the ring. I don't know if Sam Thompson realizes it. Oh, and now he does. Oh, now he does. Deville is coming after Valerie. Oh wait, no, he's getting he's getting in the ring, and Sam Thompson. Sam Thompson drives oh. the ladder right into Deville's face. This is nothing but retribution for ever putting his hands on Valerie Berman. Welcome to the ring, Xander Deville. Three shots with the ladder, and Sam Thompson forgetting about the title. He just wants some revenge. Picking up the big man, rolling him into the ring. Sam Thompson going full scream on Xander Deville. Sam Thompson sandwiching the evil man between two two sides of the ladder. God, now Isfahan bringing all the tricks and the treats. Stop is exactly what they're going to say when he starts pummeling them with that sign. I think that ladder's useless. It's all bent to hell. Three of the four competitors here in the ring trying to get a spot to set up that ladder. Sam Thompson using his head to try to push Xander out of the way. Oh, stick him in the trash can. Oh my lord, shining wizard. Xander DeVille's head just bounced inside that trash can, that jack-o'-lantern can. And Sam Thompson may have paid for that offensive maneuver because he's writhing in pain. Oh my God, and now Isfahan with a Gushtin slam about to put DeVille's skull through that steel can. These guys doing everything they can to get DeVille out of this match. Oh, Sam Thompson choking the life out of Isvon. Oh my God, he paid for it. Good Lord, that, again, that keep out sign about this decapitated Thompson. Oh, Xander DeVille down like Dracula in the sunlight. Oh, look at this. Look at this, Anton, from all yes. the way on top of the ladder yes. with the elbow of beauty yes. about to put his forearm through the black heart of DeVille. We've had a problem. The champ picking his spots. King of the Good 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 That was good. Well, now, Isfahan extending the hand. Oh, no, no, no. There was a, that was a trick. That wasn't no treat. <laughs> Taking out the garbage. Isfahan Gusenslam and now trying to rev up. Clean house before he goes for that title. Looking to take out the trash. And right here, this is Isfahan's wheelhouse, Don. The eight-time schnitzel slamming champion is feeling, and I think he just realized every other man is down, and he is the only one standing. Yeah. It's fine. This the is, straps are this off. This is his house. The competitors are down. This, this could be his time. A schnitzel-sized ladder. What a schnitzel-sized ladder. What's that mean? Okay. Well, what is that, a step ladder? That's not going to get him to the title. He's got all those big ladders and he pulls that out from under the ring. You know, he he kind of moves to the beat of his own drum. Yeah, an Untentagi oh. and war drum. And I think he's about to start playing it. What's he thinking? I don't know. Climbing one. He's up one rung of two. No, I now he gets, oh, he gets his hood, which only makes sense. Well, Isfahan is a very unorthodox Isfahan. human being, so. Isfahan, all cloaked up. Oh, 
Well, wait a minute. I, I think I know what he's thinking. I told you, Don, the schnitzel superhero is fun. has got the red cape. Oh, here we go, super schnitzel. It's not a bird. It's not a plane. It's a schnitzel Superman. Whoa! Will he be the kryptonite for Xander DeVille? Is Von Gusen Slaman with some unorthodox, you know, prep work and offense, but he has set himself up perfectly. Oh, oh wait, my God. Oh, oh, oh my God. Sam Thompson just hit his butt in the back of the head with a sludge hammer, for God's sakes. Should have kept the cape on. Not sure what that would have done against the sledgehammer, but every little bit helps. Oh my god, Isfahn, that may have just shattered the spine of Isfahn. Come on, Sam. And now Ravishing Anton, the champ. Sam Thompson, the challenger. Both trying to climb the ladder and grab that title belt. And Anton, I don't know if Anton has been doing it on purpose, but he's got to be the freshest man in this match. And as I said earlier, he's definitely picking his spots and letting his competitors beat the crap out of each other. That's why I've always said he is one of the most ultimate opportunists in this company. And, and Sam Thompson not having any of it. Look at headbutt after headbutt, shot after shot, and DeVille. DeVille trying to get back in the ring as these two battle on top of the ladder. Oh, wait, incoming! Oh, no, oh, man, the ladder tipped, and Sam Thompson, he got the worst of that exchange. Nowhere is safe in this match. There was no... God, you talk about a jump scare. DeVille just rocked. Ravishing Anton with a sinister kick. Yeah. God. Oh, oh my God, DeVille is on the warpath. Oh no, the, not a sledgehammer, oh, no. God. Oh. Maybe he does have some sanity. He almost crushed the head of Sam Thompson with a sledgehammer and then thought better of it. No, instead he goes and chokes out Ravishing Anton. That would have been the end of Sam Thompson if DeVille would have went through with that. The champ in a bad way here. Everybody's in a bad way when Xander DeVille is on his feet. Oh, look at this. Look at this. DeVille trying to drive Thompson through Anton's chest like a wooden spike through a vampire. Xander DeVille has tapped into something deep and evil here as he has come to life. Here's the schnitzel ladder. Oh, oh my God, he's got barbed wire, Don. Xander DeVille has barbed wire. Everything here is a wet. Oh, what's he doing? He's wrapping the barbed wire around his knee. Oh no. Is he giving himself penance here, or what's he doing? This is not good for the prima donna prince. This deity of destruction oh. looking to split Sam Thompson's head in half with a barbed wire knee, and Sam Thompson has been lacerated. Sam! 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 Oh, my God! That ain't makeup, folks. Oh, my God. Oh my, he is split open. And what kind of psycho wraps barbed wire around his own knee? Oh God, Xander DeVille apparently. Look at this. Thompson is bleeding like a stuffed pig. And Xander DeVille oh, is bathing in the blood. Oh, just primal. And taunting Valerie Vermin while he does it. God, Thompson is hurt. He, he is hurt bad. And now Anton is left all alone with this psycho. Now that's, that's not gonna win him the title, but it's not gonna help ravish Anton's chiropractor bill anytime soon. Oh, there's that barbed wire again. Xander DeVille is malicious as Michael Myers. Oh my God, the barbed wire is in Anton's eyes for God's sakes. Anton gonna be need to avoid the mirror because he's not gonna want to see what that just did to his face. He might be blind after that. Wouldn't that be a shame if the last thing you saw was Xander Deville? Oh, 
Oh, he's still got it wrapped around his neck. Get somebody get the barbed wire off of Anton's head and neck. For God's sakes. His eye, I, it, can he even see? The barbed wire was right in his eye sockets. I don't know if I want to see any more of this. Xander DeVille just wreaking havoc on everybody. And not even going for the title. Oh, now what is he doing? Now DeVille is a monster, Don. He's calling for something here. DeVille trying to work blood back into those... Those hamstrings and ribs, and oh my god, Isfahan has that giant mallet. That schnitzel slinging mallet as Xander DeVille is climbing the top rope. Hey! Happy Halloween, asshole! Oh, oh my god almighty! Xander DeVille just plummeted all the way from the top rope right through the door and ate that schnitzel slinging mallet right to the jaw. This could be it. This could be Isvan's moment. He's taken out the monster. DeVille ain't getting up from that. I don't care how big and bad he is. That is it. Thompson's down. Ravishing Anton blinded from barbed wire. Isvan's got all the opportunity here. He could add a continental championship to his string of schnitzel slamming championships. Could the eight time schnitzel slamming champion become a one time continental champion? It's, oh wait, no, he's, he's, he's almost there. He's making that climb, he's reaching for it. But I think that sledgehammer shot to the back. He, Isvan is still hurt. And somehow, some way Thompson is getting back to his feet. Setting up a ladder next to Isvan's. Three men, one title. Who gets it? Who will claim championship glory? All three of these men battling on top of the ladders, on top of the steel. Who's got the want to? Who's got the will to make this happen? All three men running on fumes and desire here. Anton's been blinded. Thompson's been busted open. And Isfahn was hit in the back of the head with a sledgehammer. Isfahn goes down. Oh my God, look at Oh, Sam Thompson hanging from the rafters. Sam Thompson, is, he's using the, the rafters as monkey bars. But he's going the wrong way. Good Lord, the athleticism of, of the prima donna prince is otherworldly. Good Lord, he just jumped off the top rope from the rafters and hit Ravish and Anton across the back. This is his moment. Here comes Sam Thompson. He's going to win the title. Oh, no, Ravish and Anton. Oh, God, Anton's got the clutch. Oh, there's no tap outs in this one. Anton choking whatever's left of the life out of Sam Thompson's carcass. And again, that's not going to win him the title, but it's going to clear the way for him to climb that ladder. One less competitor standing in the way of Ravishing Anton retaining his Continental Championship. Anton's got it. This is it. He's going to retain. Oh, Valerie Vermin with a low blow, and Anton goes crumbling down. Nobody saw that coming. Valerie Vermin yeah. making her Get presence up. felt. Huh. Valerie Vermin taking matters into her own and She's climbing the ladder. She's going to try to win this for Sam. <laughs> There he is. How the hell is DeVille not only on his feet, but on top of the ladder? And he just shoved Valerie from the top of the ladder back onto Thompson. This man has no soul. He may collect others, but he has doesn't have one of his own. And there he is. He's there. He's got it. He's inches away. What's he doing? Grab it. What's he doing? Xander DeVille could be the Continental Champion. What's he, he's climbing down. It was right there in his grasp. Everyone else was down. All he had to do was pull the belt out and he was going to be the champion. What the hell is going on, Dad? How is he even standing? And why did he... Oh, my God, he's got the mallet. Oh. He's slamming the mallet into Isfahn's sternum, trying to break every rib in Isfahn's body. 
It's not about titles. It's not about wins and losses with this monster. He just wants to hurt people, to maim them. Like you said, to take away what means the most to them. How do you find a guy like this? You can't, Don. You can only hope to survive, and I don't think anybody in this match is gonna survive the night when Xander Deville is walking the earth, my God Almighty. Sam Thompson destroyed, Isvan laid out, Ravishing Anton the only man between Xander Deville and the title. And Deville with that stop sign looking to put a stop to Anton's title reign. Gonna have an octagon sized tattoo on the cross's back after those shots. Oh, and look at this. Oh! Good Lord Deville just pummeling Anton in the corner. For God's sakes, Xander Deville is a monster in appetite for disaster, and he is destroying every soul in his path. He could end this whenever he wants, but he's rather just destroy these competitors. The Continental Champion being stalked by Xander DeVille. DeVille looking to drive his knee right through the title reign of ravishing Anton. I've never seen anything like this. This living, breathing jack-o'-lantern of horror looks to be unstoppable. He has laid waste to every soul in and around this ladder match. Now he sets up the ladder again. Last time he climbed up and then climbed right back down. I mean, who knows what's going through this monster's mind? Is he, is this it? Is he finally satisfied with the punishment that he's issued out? Climbing to the top rung. We could have a new Continental Champ. He's got it. He's got his hands on it, Don. DeVille, DeVille has unhooked the title. And just like that, Xander DeVille is the new Continental Champion. From the depths of hell, all the way to the top of the Continental Mountain, Xander DeVille has climbed his way into everlasting immortality on All Hallows Eve at Smash Mouth Slamboree. I can't imagine any of these four men will ever be the same after this match. Oh my god, incoming! Look at the carnage. Isvan, Anton, Thompson, and DeVille all down. It took every ounce of it. Oh, 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 God, no, he's not. Rising from the dead, Xander DeVille. I don't even know if he is a man. Don, I'm sorry to spit facts. But I'm telling you and everybody else right here, right now, there is not a man walking planet Earth that is gonna take the Continental title from Xander DeVille. We've got titles on evil clowns. We've got this mad monster holding the Continental Championship. WWT may never be the same after tonight. The story comes full circle. Xander DeVille has taken the ultimate collector's item on Halloween night. Hello everybody, this is Gang Roll of Vampire Warrior and I'm here to tell you, wrestle with this one to wish you a happy, happy Halloween. A matter of fact, a fang and a bang and Halloween. Hey everybody, subscribe to the show and you know what? One, two, Xander Temple Gang Run's coming for you. Hey, we're watching, I'm watching, they're watching, we don't want to you. This is Gang Roll of Vampire Warrior. Everybody subscribe to Wrestle With This.
Also, I'm getting some bad enough to take some. Get out there and get it. A happy Halloween from them and myself to all of you. It's a game. An annual tradition returns, Dodge. One of my favorite matches every year. It's the Battle Royal. The Smash Mouth Slamboree Battle Royal is here. Yeah, it is, Don. And uh, as you can hear, legends are made. And this match has certainly made some legendary performers in the past. The previous two winners, this match has catapulted them into superstars in the likes of Mega Mondo and Justin Kyle. And you can see the performers already filling the ring. Jackson Steele, Terry, Dalton Davis, Aaron Atlas, and uh, Logan Vator making her WWT debut, sitting up there on the corner, perched high and mighty. The first ever intergender battle royal, even more exciting. Well, yeah, you're right. The first ever winner, yeah. Mega Mondo, has gone on to the heights of WWT. Speaking of Mega Mondo, here comes his Gorilla Brethren. And Don, you gotta believe Vanilla Gorilla might be the odds on favorite. Who the hell is gonna toss this man out of the ring? By far the biggest competitor in the match tonight. Yeah, I, I, my money's on Vanilla Gorilla to walk away the battle. And, and if you walk away the champion this year, there's even some special uh, prize along with that, right, Dodge? Yeah, thanks to Mike James, the host of Slamboree this year. He added the stipulation. The winner gets a title shot of their choosing at any time they see fit. So not only do you claim the spotlight, the superstardom that comes along with this match, you claim a championship title contract. And you know this man would love a title match. Kano, Josh Emanuel, who's coming off some... Some great momentum. He and Stone Pain beat Mega Mondo and Vanilla Gorilla at Showcase 35. He might be another odds on favorite to walk out of this thing, the Victor Don. He's no stranger to the WWT main event scene, that's for sure. He's mixed it up with the champ, with Stone Pain and with Vanilla Gorilla recently. And yeah, he is on fire. You know, maybe, maybe I'm gonna say he's he's my favorite. And him and Vanilla Gorilla, they're already eyeballing each other. Lots of bad blood there. Okay. Night, night, night. Please remain calm. The end has arrived. We cannot see you. Speaking of odds on favorites, Don, the right hand of God. Sam Knight returns to wrestle with this, his Slamboree debut. And could you imagine if he were to win this thing? You know, every time I think I know who's gonna win it, somebody else walks through that curtain and my new odds on favorite, Sam Knight, making his way out. And that's why I love this match, Don. You never know who or what is gonna show up. So many styles, so many different types of competitors in this thing. Get ready to mix it up. Yeah, I mean, it really is a bunch of wild cards because so many things can happen. You could have a game plan walking in, and one thing changes it all. Sam Knight. Whoa. Oh, look at that. I want to see that. I want to see that happen, Don. Imagine Sam Knight and Vanilla Gorilla going at it. Two Goliaths facing each other, staring each other down. There's a lot of familiarity in this ring, but no friends once that bell rings. Speaking of wild card, Don Terry is in this thing. Terry might be my favorite to win it. I don't this damn thing. I don't know they ever see one of you win that opportunity. What the hell's Anton doing out here? Oh my god, he's getting speared out of his boots by Sam Knight. That's what happened. I think I Ravishing Anton just survived a war for the Continental Championship ladder match, and he just made his way out here. Anton never left the ringside area, still feeling the effects of that ladder match, but he said he was in this battle royal and immediately got speared out. I mean, he went under the bottom rope, so he's 
he's technically not eliminated, but uh, he might be in such bad shape, he ne might never even get back up into the ring. Wait, what the hell's Logan Vitor doing? Oh my god! She just ran off the back of Jackson Steel and Aaron Atlas and planted Dalton Davis with a destroyer! The first woman competitor ever in a WWT Battle Royal. Yeah, getting some forearms. It's anarchy here. Logan Vitor showing some, some unbelievable athleticism, and now it turns into chaos, Don. Now it turns into a battle royal. As Vanilla Gorilla, oh my, he's like just standing on Dalton Davis's neck. And Terry just taking it all in. Not a smart move from Jackson Steele. You know, the only competitor in here who's been in more than one of these uh, Smash Mouth Slambery Battle Royals. Please, please, come on. This is the Hulk Hogan thing. Will that experience pay off? Yeah, but you know, Jackson Steele may not even remember that he's been in other matches. Jackson Steele. Jackson Steele wants Terry, that's what he's looking at. Jackson Steele and Terry, formerly best of friends until Terry apparently turned on him in that tag team match against Giggles and Twinkles. You know, Terry's got the right idea. Stay low, you stay in the corner, don't get thrown over the top. That's right, what I said. Yeah! Now, the little gorilla working his way through the competition. I didn't forget about Oh, and now Jackson Steele, he's made his way to Terry, and then look, he, he, he's punching Terry in the face, Don. That's a cheap shot. Look, Terry battling back. Is, is Terry punching Jackson Steele back? This can't be. Wait, oh my God, oh my God! Terry just eliminated Jackson Steele. Terry with the hurricane, Jackson Steele is gone. Wells Mania is officially in this What's Wells Mania doing? And I told him he couldn't be in this thing. He tried, he competed last year and didn't fare so well. Oh, oh well now that's not fair. Wells Mania just eliminated Terry. And he, Terry, third time. Well, Terry, I think he, he landed on Jackson Steele, and Jackson Steele doesn't realize it. Jackson Steele, they Terry attacked him from behind, and now look at Terry and Jackson Steele are fighting to the back. Get in there! Get in there! Yeah, it's, it's, their night might be uh, over officially, but it's, that fight's going to keep going. And now Wells Mania thankfully thrown out. Good, thank you, Sam Knight. Get him out of there. Get back on camera, Wells. I've seen bigger in my pants. Oh, here we go, Don. Look at this. Sam Knight and Vanilla Gorilla. The two biggest bodies in this match. Stand in the middle of the ring. Oh, no. A Dalton Davis and Kano trying to break that up. I don't know if that was smart. Let those two beat each other up. Oh, there you go. The size there. I told you I'd be in that battle royal. And nobody cares, Wells, as Vanilla Gorilla and Sam Knight okay. continue sizing each other oh, up, hitting guy. each other like two freight trains. Sam Knight gonna try one more time, but gets drilled with a massive knee and dropped with a colossal headbutt by the Vanilla Gorilla. Oh, and now Davis gonna try and test his luck with the former MMA heavyweight champ. And now look at these two go at it. Oh my God, look, Vanilla, Dalton Davis probably shouldn't have attacked Vanilla Gorilla from behind. No, if I'm everybody else, I'm letting Sam Knight and Vanilla Gorilla beat the crap out of each other. Oh, Vanilla Gorilla about decapitating Dalton Davis, and I think that's it for Davis. He is gone. Thanks for coming, Dalton. Uh-oh, there's Kano. Oh, now Kano and Vanilla Gorilla. Like I said, the bad blood here. They're going to go at each other. Is, is Kano, look at this. Kano trying to... Oh, wait, look at Logan Vitor. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Vitor just eliminated over 800 pounds of humanity. I'm in shock, Don. I can't believe that just happened. Shit. Shot for shot here. Logan and Aaron Atlas going at each other. That was unbelievable. That was a slamboree moment right there, Don. Uh, 
Atlas springboard clothesline takes down Vator. Oh wait, no, Sam Knight is still in this thing, Don. Oh no, Big Sam man. Knight's still in there. Big man, huh? Wisely oh, letting his competitors oh, go out. The biggest man left in the match. You gotta figure he's the odds on favorite now. I don't know, Aaron Atlas is feeling it. As Sam Knight sidesteps Atlas, and Atlas goes flying to the outside of the ring. Atlas is gone. Oh wait, wait a minute, wait a minute, from behind, Anton! Oh, I forgot he was even out here. You call yourself Anton out there? is eliminated, Sam Knight! You should look! The former Continental Put Champion! The side who's been it's down to two! Thing, man. Logan Vitor, ravishing Anton, man, but he better turn around! Here. You might want to look behind you. Oh my god! Behind you. Anton doesn't realize that Vitor is in the ring! She just dropped Anton with a bulldog! She's gonna do it! She's gonna become the number one contender of the title of her cho choosing. Anton is hurt! Logan Vitor! Logan Vitor! Oh no, wait! Anton! Anton from behind turns it around! Vitor is gone! Anton steals! Literally steals the spotlight! Last second entry into the into the match. And now he's got a shot at a title of his choosing. Will he go after the Continental Championship he just lost? Or does he have his sights set a little higher? You talk about turning a bad night into a good one, Don. Anton just won the third annual Slamboree Battle Royale. Should know better than anybody. I don't need luck. Stone Pain looking more focused than ever before, Don, and he should be because he has got the biggest match of his life right here tonight. The biggest rematch in WWT history, Don. What a night it has been already, and we're not done yet. It's time for the main event. Mega Mondo versus Stone Pain 2 for the WWT title, Don. I am ready. At Slamboree 1, Mega Mondo won a battle royal to stamp his name on the map. Meanwhile, Stone Payne became the inaugural WWT World Champion. At Slamboree 2, Stone Payne lost that title to Mega Mondo. And now at Slamboree 3, the collision course is complete. These two will face each other again for that coveted WWT Championship. Who will be the king of the Smash Mouth jungle? Heavy is the crown, Don, and both of these guys are willing to wear that golden burden. This is the biggest rematch in Wrestle With This history. A rematch a year and a half in the making. It's Mondo Pain 2, Smash Mouth Slamboree. It's your main event, and it's next. Like I am. I am flesh and I am bone. Rise up, ting, ting, like glitter and gold. I got fire in my soul. Rise up, ting. Mega Mondo, run it mega back at Smash 
Mega Mind. 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 Mega in WWT history. Walk in the meadow of spring. Do you talk to the animals? Do you hold their lives from a string? Do you ponder the manner of things? In the door. I'd like to do it again. Slammer me three. Where kings are born. I am pleasured and I am born hearted. When legends are made for the WWT Championship. Oh, hey. The King. This is Halloween. All hail the Pumpkin King! And after a year and a half, Stone Pain is back in the main event of Smash Mouth Slamboree. It was almost a year after losing the WWT title at Slamboree 2. Stone Pain took a sabbatical, but then has come back with a vengeance. He has been dominating every opponent that has stand, stood across from him in this ring since coming back. And now it all leads to this, a title opportunity against the man who stole it from him over a year and a half ago, Mega Mondo. It's all about redemption for the king of the Smash Mouth jungle. Stone Pain wants to prove a point, and that point is he can beat Mega Mondo in the main event of Smash Mouth Slamboree. He can win back his coveted, as he puts it, WWT Championship throne. And he has been laser focused since he came back. All he's wanted to do was stick it to Mega Mondo and get his title back. Will it happen tonight at the event where he lost it? Mega! Lost it to this man, the Simeon Superpower as of today. Six hundred and seventy mega days under the purple rain of Mega Mondo Don. He has to go through Stone Pain to make it 671. Can he do it? Mega Mondo has been on a tear, facing all comers in all types of challenges. And every time he's walked away, retaining that WWT World Championship. There's that crown. There's that mask. There's that mega champion, Mega Mondo, the man who took the title off of Stone Pain at Slamboree 2. And look at that, sitting on the king's throne. Oh, oh my god, and Pain is gonna have no part of it! Wasting no time, you don't sit on another man's throne! You wanna play oh, oh my god, the, the match Come hasn't even now. started yet, Get and Pain is already on the attack! It could be over Fire before it started. There go. is no love lost between these two, a night, lot night, of history. Bitch. Dating back to Pain the Pain is looking for the oh, mauling, no. oh no! Oh my god, Mondo god, moved, Pain may have just broke his arm! Pain, a master striker, may have just lost his most uh, powerful weapon right there in that right fist. Pain just elbowed the ring post. He may have shattered his forearm with that, and now Mondo, good lord, the strength of the Simeon superpower, Gorilla Press slamming the lion of WWT back in the ring. And we're ready to go here. Stone Pain, Mega Mondo, Smash Mouth, Slamboree 3, the WWT World Championship on the line. Here we go. Are we ready, Don? I don't know if Stone Pain's ready. His arm might be broke. Mondo, Mondo blocking Pain. My God, this, 
This one might be over quick. We've seen it. Mondo can end matches quick when he gets going with those mega shoulder blocks. My God, Mondo's ah. climbing up high like King yeah. Kong on top of the Mega Empire Slam. State Building. He's looking to repeat history. He might be on the verge of doing it. Stone, Stone Pain, his oh. journey back may be over yeah. right now. Mecca, enough. Uh -oh. well, Mondo saying that wasn't enough. Mondo avoiding a pin, saying that wasn't enough. He's going to go for the Harambe block. Oh, my God. Pain ducked it. Mondo crashed and burned. Shot himself right out of the ring, and that gives Stone Pain a little bit of a breather to recover, get back on his feet, and maybe start this match the way he had intended. Well, Mondo should have oh. went for the cover when he had the chance. The ever cunning Stone Five. Pain. All he needs is one shot, one Six. mistake to be made, and he will capitalize, and Mondo Seven. made it right there. Mega Mondo is all about momentum. He just kind of feels it out as he goes, not one to have much of a game plan Five. in the matches. Well, Stone Pain a little bit more calculated. Which style is going to prevail here? Oh my god, speaking of calculated, a hanging spike DDT just drove Mondo's head right through the mat. That might be it. Oh no, Mondo kicks out at two. Man, Mondo got spiked hard on top of his head. And Payne, you know he wants to set up for that mauling if he can even hit it now. Like, he's still holding that arm close to his chest. Don, I'm serious. I think Payne's arm might be broken. And, and he, he can't use the arm. He's going to go to the knees. What a knee right to the side of Mondo's temple. Well, Stone Payne survived that early flurry from Mega Mondo and is now dishing out some punishment of his own. And you're right. He is a good striker. Every limb a weapon and Mega Mondo's feeling it right now. Pain, pain strikes with the precision of a serial killer as he drives his patella right through Mondo's frontal lobe. And now, what is this? Pain. He's lining up Mondo. He's lining up Mondo. Oh, what the hell? He just body slammed the world champion. Not a sight we've seen very often here where somebody can manhandle Mondo Go. one. The Smash Mouth Jungle just got rocked with one hell, one mega body slam, but the WWT Champion stays alive for now. Over the course of his 670 days, we've seen Mega Mondo take a lot of punishment, which is something Stone Pain is more than willing to dish out. But can he do what no other man has been able to do? I would say he's got more motivation than any other man that's ever tried as Mondo fights out of the second comma bomb. And what is this? Mondo! Mondo with a mega bottom! Did Pain just hit rock bottom? And Stone Pain has never been able to beat Mega Mondo. No, Mondo, the only L on Stone oh, Pain's record. And now, oh man, the Mondo going for the banana. banana. Well, he already hit the rock bottom. Is he going to go for the Mega People's elbow? The banana goes flying. Mega Mondo off the rope. Stone Pain up, though. Oh no! Oh my god, a stunner! My god, is this the Smash Mouth yeah. Arena 2021 or the Astrodome 2001? They're bringing out all the blasts from the past as Payne nails the champion with a savage Sekakama bomb. Will that be enough? New no champion, no. A little era of attitude here in a WWT ring. Two new titans colliding here tonight over a world title. It doesn't get much better than this, Dodge. My God, these two gladiators are hitting everything they've got. Every big move they can think of to put the other one down. And now Pain, he's looking for the painkiller. If he hits it, he might be on the verge of beating Mondo. No. No, Mondo still too much strength fights out of it. He's got yeah. pain up. He's got the number one contender on his shoulders. A mega attitude adjustment from the WWT champion. They are pulling out all the stops here. Every which way they can to try to finish the other one off. Oh, here we go, Mondo. Mondo looking for the Harambe block. This is he how hits he it. beat Payne. He hit it. It's Slambery 2. Payne is rocked. Payne is down. Mondo covers. One, two, and oh. Oh, oh my God. 
time. Nobody's ever done Double that. Three. Fraction of a second. Two, Nobody's three, ever kicked two, out of the Harambe no, block. Two. And no one's ever been more shocked than Mega Mondo. You know what, Stone Pain? You're gonna Mega Bow down to the Mega King. And here he goes again. I don't believe it. Mondo looking for another Harambe block. Oh no, he, he backed right into it. Right into the mauling. A second one drops the champion from behind. Mega Mondo out on his feet oh, right now. Oh my god, a third mauling and now they both go down. He Mondo took the referee with him. And now Payne up. I will not be denied. You stupid son of a bitch. This is my night. Pain will not be denied tonight. Oh. He wants his redemption. He's willing to die to get it. Mondo has been rocked with three oh. maulings to the back of the head. The champion, he is hurt and he is hurt you bad. Know, Mondo, you're right. Stars in the eyes of the purple simian. The whole world, they should bow to the motherfucking king. Stone Pain lining up his shot. The champion has been knocked out cold. But where's the ref? He can't win it if the ref can't make the count. He's got to get the referee back in the ring. Mondo is unconscious. Pain, Pain is going to do this. Redemption is Stone Pain's. He said he was going to knock out Mondo. My God, he's done it. All he's got to do is pin him. You got to revive the ref. Then you got to pin Mondo. Stone Pain's so close to getting his title back. We're gonna crown a new champion, Don. What is going on? Everybody's confused. Stone Come Pain on. looking around. You wanna go? You ain't stealing this shit from me. Pain acting as if he knows Come what on. was. I don't know. He's he's staring at the the curtain, waiting for someone to come out. Mondo's still down. The rest still down. Come on! Oh oh my God! Turn around, Pain! What the hell? It's Wrathbone. Wrathbone is back. Wrathbone is back. Here. And he's brought a friend. Look out! Oh my god! Oh my god almighty! Wrathbone just cracked the skull of pain! Good lord, Wrathbone! With one of the most sickening chair shots I have ever seen in my life! We haven't seen Wrathbone in months! And he's helping Mega Mondo, or is he just to spite Stone Pain? Wrathbone wants payback for Silverback Bash! And my god, revenge is a dish best served with cold hard steel! Oh, not this way! No, don't let this end like this! Are you kidding me? No, he's up! Oh, oh my god! He survived the chair shot from Wrathbone! How in the hell did Pain kick out of that? Where you going? Payne would Shut rather up. die on his shield than fail here tonight at Smash Mouth Slamboree. The punishment this kid can take is other freaking worldly. Nothing means more to Stone Payne than being on top of the mountain wearing that title. He will go through anything. He will take any punishment to get back to that. He about got his head caved in from Rathbone oh. with that Sickening steel chair shot to the skull, and yet somehow he is still breathing. Rathbone not satisfied with this outcome. Stone Pain just flipped Rathbone off, and, and Rathbone is like a carnivore. This is just the beginning. Hunting season has officially begun. And before I take your lights out and take your shot, I want you to remember one thing. This is my House. Oh, oh my you god. Just live here. Stone pain! Stone pain defiant to the bitter end! And Rathbone is gonna nail him like a railroad spike into the ground! Like a nail in the coffin! Rathbone trying to make sure there's no kick out this time. And the ref, ref, turn around! Oh my 
God almighty, he just hit pain so hard Mondo bounced on top of him, for God's sake. Reverberating Look. enough to get Gina. Mondo to roll over on him and now choking the life Go to out sleep. of stone pain. Go to sleep. Go to sleep. This is not right, Don. This isn't how we wanted this to end. Pain gargling at the mouth. His esophagus might be crushed. My God, he is out. And now Rathbone, looking at his handiwork from a distance. I don't believe this. Oh, Mondo's got an arm on Pain. Mondo's covering Pain. Rathbone just left his mark on this title match. Kick out Pain. Kick out Pain. Damn it, not like this. Oh, my God. Three, and Mondo retains. Mondo retains. Mega! The era of Mega Mondo continues. I would say Mega Mondo beat Stone Pain, but damn it, Rathbone beat Stone Pain, and Mondo's title reign continues because of it. It's not the way I wanted to see it finish, but the record books are going to show Mega Mondo wins the rematch, retains his title, and keeps that streak alive as the WWT World Champion. 3-0 and at Slambury, and you better believe, Dobby, when Stone Pain comes to, there is gonna be hell to pay. But as for tonight, Mega Mondo, the reign of the Simeon superpower, continues on Halloween night. Ladies and gentlemen, what a night it has been here at Smash Mouth Slambury 3. We've seen an inaugural champ crown. We've seen a title change. And now we've seen Mega Mondo continue to reign supreme over the WWT jungle. Uh, now what? Again? Oh no! Oh my god. It's it's Loco! It's Predicador Loco with the clowns, the tag team champs! What the hell? Now what? What the hell's going on now, Don? These freaks have surrounded the champion! Just when you thought you're gonna end the night on a high, here comes the most evil bastards in the organization. Mondo staring down darkness. Oh my God, as the devil rises behind him. Look out, oh my God, what a knee. The Continental Champion back in here and just laid out the WWT World Champ. Oh no, don't tell me, Don. Don't tell me that Xander DeVille is in cahoots with Predicador Loco and the Disciples of Chaos. What is this coven right here? Darkness, Don. DeVille has his hands on both titles. The clowns have the tag team titles. And Predicador Loco has orchestrated all of it. Is this what our future holds? Nothing but pure darkness.